Okay, Maddie, so I've added the problem right here. And this is the one from um, the homework packet. So it should be similar. This is number nine. It says use the graph of F to determine each of the following. Okay, so if we're looking for the domain of F, we're looking for X's. Okay, so what happens on this graph is as it goes down, it also goes out. Okay, and it keeps going down and out. Okay, so that means it's coming from, if I'm looking left or right, there's no starting point on there. So it's coming from a negative infinity. When we see the graph, we see the graph, we see the graph, and then it stops when it gets to 2. So we can say the domain is negative infinity to 2. Okay, the range is, so this is from left to right when we ask about domain. We're looking left to right. On the range, we're looking for bottom. Oops. We're looking for bottom to top. Okay, well, does it have a bottom? Does it have a stopping point or a point where we start from the bottom? No, once again, it comes from a negative infinity. And then what's my highest y? It goes all the way up to, it looks like three. Then it starts coming back down. So we do have a high point right there. Oh, maybe negative 1, 3. Zeros mean we're looking for x-intercepts. Okay. So the zeros of f are negative 4. Well, yeah. Right there. And, well, where else does it hit the x-axis? 2. Okay, f of negative 3.5 is saying x equals negative 3.5. What is y? Okay, well, when x is negative 3.5, did it give me a... Uh, did it give me a function function? No. So, if I'm at negative 3.5, let's see, negative 2, negative 4, I would say there's negative 3, negative 3.5 is going to be about, I would say, 1. We're going to say at 1. Okay. The interval on which x uh, f is increasing, okay, so you've got your little ant, and he's going... Up, up, up. He's still increasing. He's increasing. He's increasing until I get to this point right here. And it's asking what are the x values? Uh, what are x's where it is increasing? Okay. So from negative infinity to about negative one now when we talk about intervals of increasing it doesn't actually ever equal negative one it's always up until that point the interval on which f is decreasing now when the ant gets up here to negative one now it starts going downhill Oops. at negative one and it does that till it stops right here when x is two okay which interval or union of intervals represents the values for which f of x is less than or equal to zero? Remember, f of x is just y. So when y is less than or equal to zero, okay, select the correct choice. All right, when is y less than zero? Well, right here, from negative infinity to when on the x? Negative four. So just one place. So we're going to say e from negative infinity to four. Negative four, sorry. H says the function has no smallest value over any open interval, so is there, there is no relative minimum. That's true. The relative maximum of the graph is where f of x equals, well, what is the y part of that? Uh, that looks about like negative one, three. So f of x equals three f of x equals 3, where x equals negative 1. Okay. 
f of z is f of zero positive or negative so it's saying when x equals zero is y positive or negative it's what it's asking you so when x is zero is y positive or negative it's positive okay all right let's see and i think that's all number nine and i hope that helps